Today, we're going to talk about a story in Matthew as Jesus walks towards the temple. Now, in the coming weeks, it's important to remember who Jesus is. And the teachers in the temple and around Jerusalem, as he's in Jerusalem, are trying to figure this out. Who is this Jesus guy? Yes, Dan? He is? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. It's not a question for you. It's a question to think about. Who's this, who's this guy? What, is he, is he man? Is he God? Now, Jesus, he walks along the road and he sees a fig tree and he gets hungry. What do, what does that mean? He gets hungry. Does that mean he's a man or is he something else? What do you reckon? He's probably a man if he gets hungry. Does he have to sleep? Yes, he does have to sleep. Does he use tools like a carpenter? Yes, he was actually a carpenter. Does he get tempted to sin? He does, actually. He's a man. He's a 100% man, just like us. I'm going to say fully man, and then you say it back. Fully man. Jesus was fully man. There you go. Yes, Dan? Mm, We'll get to that, won't we? So he walks up to the fig tree. The fig tree's got no fruit on it. Now that's a bit strange. This time of the year, it should have figs on it. And so he says to the fig tree, you will never have fruit again, and it withers. He curses it, and it dies immediately. Can a man do that? No, I don't think so. So he must be something else, hey? Yes, so it's God's power, isn't it? Only God can do something like that. Jesus can do God's miracles. Can Jesus, like we learnt at Easter, can Jesus die and then be raised again? Yes. Yes, he can do that. He can do miracles. He's got all power. I think he must be God as well. Jesus is fully God. Say it back to me. Jesus is fully God. That's right. So he's fully man and he's fully God. Now, what does that mean? That means as a man, he is like us and he is faced with the same problems that we have faced in our lives. So when we talk, when we pray, we can remember Jesus actually went through the same troubles that we did. When someone bullied us or talked back to us, rudely, we can think, oh, Jesus actually was talked back rudely as well. And if he's fully God, it means that he can do something about it. He's got all the power and he'll actually listen to you. So Jesus being fully God and fully man is actually really cool because it means we've got Jesus as the friend who will listen to us and then has the authority to do stuff about it. Isn't that good? I think I heard someone say once that he came down to save the world, but to also like, see what it was like to be human, so that we can help him. Mm, that's, that's interesting. I reckon he probably already knew what it would have been like to be human, um, but he did come down to experience life as a man so that, He could be uh, a sacrifice, right? Yes? Last one. Um, That's not relevant. (laughs) Right. So let's pray to God, remembering he's fully man, and so he knows what it's like to be tempted. And he's fully God. He's got all the authority. Let's pray to God. Dear God, thank you that you came down as a man. Um, We thank you that you gave up all the good things in heaven, to come down and humble yourself. Um, We also thank you that Jesus is God so that he's got all the power and we we can rely on him. Amen.